you know that's what we have to do we have to be, be more clinical when we get them opportunities you know we worked some great situations last night in wide areas uh, you know what we've done in training what we've worked on um and it's just the hardest part isn't it they get paid for putting the ball in the onion bag and unfortunately we didn't do that but as i say the work that we've done during lockdown during the uh um before we've come back to restart the season as has been excellent with the, the defensive displays and, you know, just not having the supporters there, but it's down to us to, to you know, make the players feel like they're playing with supporters, uh, you know, and um, take that passion into the game. We have to do that, um, you know, because by playing with that passion, he's going to give you that extra one or two percent that you need at the moment. You know, as I say, it's a, such a quick turnaround in games, you know, Chelsea, then we've had 48 hours, Newcastle, 48 hours, and now Wolves. So, uh, you know, it's a real short turnaround, the shortest of any, any football club so far. And we've got to make sure that we carry that passion into the game. Mm. I mean, uh, I feel for Matty Target, really. Uh, you know, the last couple of games, he's had, he's had Willian come up against him. He's had Maximin come up against him yesterday. And uh, he's likely, if, if, if I pick Matt Target, that he's got Traore up against him. So, you know, he certainly he's... Uh, finding out how to deal with, you know, a lot of pace. Um, but, you know, you have to come up with a plan to thwart it. I've, I've spoken before how, how much I rate him and Eth as well. I think he's, he's done fantastic this season and uh, one of the best centre-forwards I've seen in the league. And, um, you know, Wolves have done a great job with him.